Hi guys, so in this video we will be seeing how we can add light bulbs to this to this text in here and also how we can edit this text. So let's start off by editing this text. And here you have the different type texts, layers, and this is as you can see a solid material. So I'm going to change this solid material in here. I'm going to solo it and let's type in something else, something like light. Very nice, I like that. So, uh, of course, right now it is using this font, the Fairplex Wide OT. You can get this from Adobe's Typekit. But if you would like to use any other font, you can simply select any other font from here and customize the settings right over here. With that said, we can untick the soloing of the layer so we can see the full scene. And as you can see, it updates right over here. So now the next step would be to add the different light bulbs. So I'm going to go inside the Element 3D, 3D Object Settings and click the scene setup. As you can see, the element window have popped up in here. And this is basically the space where we can work. And this is in here, in, inside the scene. If we go inside this section, we'll find different things in here. So we have light bulbs group 01, light bulbs group 02, light bulbs group 03. Then you can select the object in here. And then you have the background settings in here. So let's head over to the select object for now. And if we open this, you can see that right now we have the solid material version 01 selected. If you untick that, that is removed. And from here, you can highlight different materials. So you can experiment this with this and see what is included. So if we untick this, if we select the next one, you can see that you have this material in here with a different texture. Then you have the tree, which is basically, it has this border. And four, which also have a border, but a little bit longer and a different material as well. And then the five and six, you won't be able to see it right now, since this is for when you are using a logo. Then here you have some options for wires. So let's show the solid material version 01 for now. And if we open the wire section, we can simply show any wire from here, as you can see right over there. And let's click on that wire and we can move that and make that wire show up in here and enter inside the text, etc. So very nice. And you have different options for wires in here, of course, just like that. So I'm going to close the wire section and I'm going to leave this wire here since I like it, how it is. And then we can have a look at the light box. The light box is a different material where you will have light coming from like a glass, from like underneath a glass from the text. Very nice option there. And you can customize this from within the project in here by customizing this type text in here. So you can type in whatever you like inside this text and it will show up right over here. We will see how we can use it in a second. If we show the next one, light box screen, this is once again similar to the other one, but it has this like screen texture in here. So that's it for the text materials, the object materials. Let's untick this for now. And let's actually add something nice, some, some screen, screen elements in here. So let's press OK for now. As you can see, the wire has been updated in here. And now I'm going to select something for, for this clean light box. And I'm simply going to type real in here. And let's untick that and let's jump to the next one, which is the light box. And let's type in bulbs. Maybe a, a bold, just like that. So that's it. So now if we go back to the element 3D, 3D object settings, go inside scene setup, we can simply tick these on and you can see the first one here, I like how this is aligned. 
and the light box right over here. Let's select it and we can move it wherever we like, just like that. I'm actually not going to use this, this thing in here. So I'm just going to use the reel in here since I like that more. So just like that, let's press OK now and see how that updates. Now right now, as you can see, there is too much light in here. So what we can do is if we go inside the real 3D light bulb studio, we can simply go to the light intensity and that would be group four. So the light box and screen light boxes in group four and you can lower its intensity like this. Let's, let's say 45. So that's quite good. I like that. And now we can move on to the, to, to the light bulbs. Let's once again go to the elementary 3D, 3D object settings. And let's actually remove this, this text altogether, the real. Now you can, you, you know how you can do that. So let's remove that for now and let's just work with the, with the light bulbs right over here. So let's go to scene setup and let's untick the light box screen. And here we have the main material. Now what you would want to do is basically each group from these for, for the light bulbs have different animations is for different animations. So you can separate different animations. So right now I'm going to work everything in group one. Then at a later stage, if I want to animate, I'm, I can separate them. So I will show you how we, we can do that in the video where we explain animations. So let's do everything in group one. Now the problem right now is that if we open group one, as you can see, don't have the solid material, so we don't know where we can place the bulbs. But in here, we have the solid material version 01 loaded up, so we can simply tick that one, just like that. And there we have our, our material and the light bulb. Now, of course, when you have done all your light bulbs, don't forget to simply switch this off. So with that said, I'm going to fill this with light bulbs. So let's duplicate this light bulb. I always like to like to keep the first light bulb untouched. So I'm going to duplicate model like that and hide the first one and then select the copy and place it where I want it to be. Now, something that I like doing is renaming this to L so that I know which letter the light bulbs are on. So that is named L. Now I can simply duplicate model and move just like that. You can also control D on your keyboard and simply build up your light bulbs very easily like that. So that's done. Now we can copy the next one, control D and move it and I'm going to rename this to I. So now that everything is done, I'm going to organize these very quickly in here. And that's basically it. So if we click on OK now, let's first remove this solid material. Since this is only for display purpose, just to help us placing the bulbs. So, and let's close everything in here and let's press OK. Now, as you can see immediately, you have these nice light bulbs over the, over the text right over there. So that's how you place your light bulbs. So now we can jump into the next video where we can start customizing the materials, using different materials for the background, for the text, etc. So see you in the next video.